the director. She looks pretty good in the suit. I wonder if these are developers. Where's that jukebox? Why don't you grab that jukebox again? clearance. No, here it is. It's an object of power to use. Funny. here too much long tonight. What? That was weird. Wasn't like loaded in or something. Nice trees. Welcome to the research sector of the Federal Bureau of Control. Head of research. Somebody thought this video would make for great internal communications. I'm looking at you, Mr. Tomasi. So this is where the magic happens. Anyway, I, I've been here for 24 years now. I've always been here. And, and through those years, we've made astonishing discoveries, authored studies of grave importance, and in all this work, there is one thing we know, and that's how little we truly know. Rest assured, we're committed to keep pushing the known laws and borders of reality, and to make the Bureau proud. So, welcome. Assuming you have the necessary clearance, and, and do follow the safety protocols. Read the manual. Otherwise, bad things will happen. I like his sweater. Research sector, huh? Home of the Bureau's mad scientists. Just a little mad. I was just wondering about the plants and research. Is it really necessary to sing to them? The janitor does have a nice voice, and the plants sure seem to like it. You gotta switch it up a little bit. I'm getting pretty tired of the tank. Where do these plants even come from? No one seems to remember when they were planted. People like them a bit too much, if you ask me. <laughs> these giant plants? 
Oh. Hello. Ow. Freaking rude. jerk. That's...
Copyrighted, run away. Cafeteria. Someone like someone. Seem nice at least. For now. I do like that kind of like hybrid of like office and like natural look. I think it's a cool style. That's right over there. <laughs> the mold must be that weird plant that's in those areas. You this stuff. It hurts me, right? No? I thought it would. I thought this stuff would hurt me. Just down we go.
Well. Well then. That's one way to go. Hey, look, it's me. Looking good as ever. This doesn't seem like a good place to be stuck in. Just take this power core with us. Oh, it can go right there. Is there nothing down here? Oh, there's a door right here. Transfer. Can't go in there. Oh. Ugh. Exploded at me. Weird. This place is messed up. Yeah, I figured as much. What? I don't even know what. Gee, wow. That place was a nightmare. How far back are they going to put me? Oh. All the way back. Better not to fight everything again. Really? 
really. There's a different spawn. I need to find at least one control point. Let me find a control point. still works. How about that? back where we came from. Alright, um... Screw you! 
<sighs> well, I think I gotta call it there, because I gotta go. Sorry, mess around with that area later. Alright, see y'all later. Alright. Bruh. Hey, Max. What's going on tonight? Fuji, are you broken? Do I need to turn you off and on again? That guy. Where he was floating, sitting up in a chair. You ever watch the show The Blacklist, Fuji? I was finished watching that tonight. Hey, lady, you're blocking the projector. I mean, it's a dude. It's a dude. Synchronicity is a phenomenon that longer stands by the wise, but only recently given me by science. It's how we recognize events connected by no identifiable casualty. My purpose, how does a dream foretell an event in a physical plane? How do hounds bail the death of a master which has occurred miles away? The world is unified. Ways we do not yet understand, sometimes we ramble, stumble across these invisible unseen cords and wonder at the result. The visionary Carl Young, Young laid the road. Can I just lock it? The church for tomorrow will take our mission to rail to produce. Hmm. Hmm. Oh. Well. You probably can blame studio executives for whatever reasoning was behind that. We want to save money. But, sir, we'll make money. Not on the, this quarterly report, we won't. Make it shorter. to go in here. She's in trouble. Oh. I need to reach her. <laughs> hmm. Okay, we can't. 
Okay, we can't climb up here. Dude, Walking Dead is good up until like season six, maybe, and then it just goes downhill hard like a rock. At least in my opinion, I couldn't keep watching it. It just got more disappointing to me. What's ironic about that show is that show became The Walking Dead as a show. <laughs> it was just a zombie being pushed forward and forward, being milked for money based upon its past reputation. I mean, they don't even have, like, 90% of the old cast anymore. I've heard, like, the latest season has been okay, but they still don't have Rick anymore in it, for example. Like... And when I say they don't have 90% of the main cast, it doesn't mean they all died. But, like... They, the show became a ghost of what it used to be. Yeah, I think that's a good way for me to get my channel copyright striked on YouTube and get banned on Mixer. I don't think I'm going to listen to you on that one. Plus, I have zero desire to ever watch Force Awakens again. Gosh, there's a lot of them. Oh my gosh, what am I throwing at them? I, didn't, I just didn't even know what I grabbed. I was destroying them. What is, what is, oh, the Phantom Menace? Yeah, but that's a very low bar to set. <laughs> and Phantom Man is still at Darth Maul, so. <laughs> weird. That's a weird. Do you read this? Fuji? That's a pretty creepy call. Someone got, like, trapped into their phone. Where are you gonna go? You have to go to sleep tonight, huh? For bed. For school. Oh, hello. Oh, and the wires, maybe? I wonder what that thing was that was in the air. Like, no, it's not that. It was like that, but sitting in a chair. Like, kind of like one of these guys. Max, are you still here or do you disappear like you normally do?
The astral plane. Similar to an iceberg, what you see is not what you always get. Regardless, this place is vitally important to the Bureau. Most information on the astral plane is, is classified, but we can talk in broad strokes, keeping in mind that these are staggeringly complex systems, and simplification does them no justice. Now, the white non-space, the ever-present inverted black pyramid, the board, all linked, intrinsically tied to the oldest house, tied to the director, the process of choosing a director, tied to all objects of power in terms of who controls them. Yes. <laughs> oh, it's a control point. Sure, I'll take this control point. The Astro Exhibition was originally built for the astronauts to use as a training location a place in to grow custom the sights and sounds of the astral plane for diving the real thing we could have done a better job with it but blank was being stingy with the budget however once we discovered the blank we decided to reverse the space similar to how zoos hope familiar surroundings will affect the well-being of their animals we hope to observe the blank behavior similar to its home dimension so far it breaks everything we put in it but with aroma wasn't built in a day astral spike hypothesis was that the mindscape of the astral plane is subjective, but that was fast proven wrong. It's an actual place, not a construct of the mind, even though it is with our minds that we enter and experience it. But then one could argue that that's the case with all reality. We've been able to record footage of the astral plane by monitoring the brain activity of those experiencing it. That is the only concrete material that has come out of the astral plane expeditions apart from one shocking exception. In the astral plane footage, we're always in the vicinity of the pyramid. We've concluded that this, not the entire plane, is what the board controls. We have glimpsed movement, native species, always in the distance, and yet contact was made. We don't have footage of this, a technical malfunction, but. When one of our astral knots returned, a brain cloud, an astral fugue, had hitchhiked a ride in his head. It ruptured out, killing the subject in question. It's a relentless predator, pursuing thoughts, minds, lethal to those the entity feeds on. <laughs> Proper containment protocols are to be observed when dealing with it. Oh, cool. You know, developers like, we gotta put my model into the game in some in lore way. I can't believe 
they keep that thing here? <laughs> this game reminds me so much of SCP Containment. Or SCP in general. Someone was a fan on the development studio. Is that what we're supposed to do? Uh, I don't think we fight that thing. Timed. You didn't realize that. Yeah, you know, that thing can't be fought. Okay. Oh. What am I even doing right now? I thought we had it. Dang it! Okay, I think I kind of get it now. Hey, jerk face. Come here. Got it. Okay. What was the Bureau doing with that thing? Well, who knows? Someone answer, damn it! We need backup down here. Marshall, are you still there? Shit. We're so close. We need to hurry. Hey, welcome back, Fuji. There's a big boy up here. A very big boy.
Hey, Marlin. Just, you know, beating up stuff like a boss in this game. Hang on a second, what am I supposed to be? Where the heck is the mail room? Hang on a second. Let's go to the mail room real quick. I apparently have a little bit of time to do this. Yeah, I was actually just about to ask him if he's played Overwatch yet. I did give it to him. Although he can't. He doesn't have a good computer yet. <laughs> but yes. Oh. What do I have to... What? I'm protecting these dudes? Secure the area. What's up, FBC guys? It'd be funny if I lost because I ran out of time. Is anything going to happen? Oh, it's not fake. I just don't know where food... Fuji's here. I don't know why he isn't talking. So, guys, uh... Pretty weird, um... Place we are chilling in, huh? Would you agree? Marlin is, uh... Accusing me of not actually giving you Overwatch. Because Marlin is a douche canoe. Fuji is an old man. I swear. He he, he says he's fifteen. Look, he, he he claims he's fifteen, but I swear he falls asleep faster than any like teenager I know. I don't understand, huh? You're telling a uh, a guy who's almost thirty what he knows about naps. I remember being your age, and I did not fall asleep like you do. He must be narcoleptic or something. I bet we were supposed to actually protect someone here, and nothing's even happening, so we're just going to win this objective. That's pretty funny. I'm kind of glad, though. I hate defending. I hate defense missions. Those suck. They're the worst kind of missions. Yeah, but this still doesn't mean you... Just fall asleep like an old man. Exactly. I'm with Marlin on this. I, it's really rare for me to agree with Marlin, but I'm with Marlin on this. Woo! We got loot. Nice mission, guys. Alright. Um... I actually want to check. Load out. Collectibles. You'll be back in an hour, Fuji? You're going to be falling asleep. Why, why would you leave? You need to see this, by the way. It's pretty cool. No, not that. That's just weird. 
that that thing ruined my mind. Um, check this out. I think you guys both missed this. This is pretty cool. This explains what the astro plane is. Similar to an iceberg, what you see is not what you always get. Regardless, this place is vitally important to the Bureau. Most information on the astral plane is, is classified, but we can talk in broad strokes, keeping in mind that these are staggeringly complex systems, and simplification does them no justice. Now, the white non-space, the ever-present inverted black pyramid, the board, all linked, intrinsically tied to the oldest house, tied to the director, the process of choosing a director tied to all objects of power in terms of who controls them. Yes. <laughs> then there was, then there's this. An early hypothesis was that the mindscape of the astral plane is subjective. But that was fast proven wrong. It's an actual place, not, not a construct of the mind, even though it is with our minds that we enter and experience it. But then one could argue that that's the case with all reality. We've been able to record footage of the astral plane by monitoring the brain activity of those experiencing it. That is the only concrete material that has come out of the astral plane expeditions. A apart from one shocking exception. In the astral plane footage, we're always in the vicinity of the pyramid. We've concluded that this, not the entire plane, is what the board controls. We have glimpsed movement, native species, always in the distance, and yet contact was made. We don't have footage of this, a technical malfunction, but when one of our astral knots returned, a brain cloud, an astral fugue, had hitchhiked a ride in his head. It ruptured out, killing the subject in question. It's a relentless predator pursuing thoughts, minds, lethal to those the entity feeds on. Proper containment protocols are to be observed when dealing with it. I wonder if Darling's gonna be the final boss or something. Like the Hiss has like complete control of him. Yeah, this game it has a really interesting lore to it. Like it makes you want to like dig into it. Hiss cluster. Hiss and you know, host impressions of his residents. Hoser lights have had a little one inch. It's pretty speculative for my part. Girl. Um, oh, you know, just work and then finished uh, the latest season of The Blacklist, season seven. And started playing this. I'm trying to figure out. There we go. Spin. Okay, now. Oh, hang on. What does spin do? Let's check it out. I like. It's a freaking minigun pistol. Look at this. <laughs> now I have a shotgun. And that. It's gonna be fun. Dude, this, this gun is a hack. This thing's ridiculous. It's freaking Excalibur. Remember we read a note about that? This gun was Excalibur at one point. King Arthur was one of the directors at one point. Is basically what they're saying in this lore. Just think about that for a second. It's a pretty fun way to like implement like old like I love when they implement old like ancient myth into like lore and stuff. Camelot. Camelot. 
We're the Knights of the Round Table. So this thing is, is Construct Pierce. So it's like a heavy hot charge shot, maybe? That'll be fun to get. It, too, is good. Maybe, should I do a little short like video review? Think it would be worth it to do it? I haven't done a movie review on the channel. Oh, I'm not going to do an analysis. That movie is deep, man. It's a pretty, uh... It was a, it was a pretty good movie. But the movie is actually pretty symbolic. It was poetic, sort of. I mean, it was very symbolic more than poetic like it just and it the funniest thing about it was for being a horror movie it, it mixed comedy in with a lot of the horror but in, in a really good way like it wasn't corny it was just kind of they just do it really well i don't know how they did it but they did it like you're going oh my gosh and then kind of laughing like five seconds later Like, the theater was equal parts going, oh, and then also, like, cracking up at the same time. But, okay, you know what I hear the funniest thing, though? Do you have AMC as a movie theater there? In Texas? Oh, the pyramid's up there. I don't know what you mean by an analysis. 